And that's it from the weekend news team here at ITN. Goodbye. day today. If you haven't had rain, you've had snow, and many people have had both. But warmer weather is moving in from the west now, so most of the snow is turning back to rain and melting away, except for the north and east, which will stay cold right through tonight and tomorrow, with more wintry showers to come. The weather radar pictures have looked striking today. Early this morning, the sleet and snow is in the west, but you can see how it's been sweeping north and east across most of Britain today. Heavy rain in the south and snow from around the Midlands northwards. But clear weather out to the west has already made more progress since this last picture was taken. So clear weather for most of us overnight, but more sleet, snow and rain up in the north. There's tonight's picture. No frost tonight. Temperatures in the south around 5, but still further outbreaks of sleet and snow from northern areas there, particularly up on the higher ground. Rain showers further south. Tomorrow, a bright start for many of us, some sunshine around, but showers developing quite quickly. And there's a larger area of cloud, rain, a little bit of sleet across northern areas that will drift further south and east during the day. It's going to be milder in the south tomorrow, but northeastern parts of Britain will have another cold day. Temperatures there around 5. Good night. <laughs> Power gen generating electricity all over the river. Warning! Lock up your daughters. Mark Owen is young, free, and solo. And he's a man. Mark Owen, next week on GNTV. The new Northumbrian water, serving the northeast. The night will be milder with rain at times and snow on hills thawing. The temperature not below 3 Celsius with moderate westerly winds. Tomorrow still cloudy with further rain, hill fog and a maximum temperature of 7 Celsius. Winds will be strong northeasterly. Tuesday will be cold and showery. In a world where no one wants to take responsibility and some people are only too willing to take advantage, it takes a dedicated man to find the way through the web of deception, villainy and lies spun by the modern criminal. A man who gets results. The Cook Report, Tuesday at 8.30 on Channel 3 North East. Channel 3 Northeast. Now on Channel 3 Northeast, Craig Charles presents the first of a three part series that journeys into cyberspace. Ah, uh, cyberspace. It's the word we've got. <laughs> so 
Hyperspace is the word, we've got the word. Contrived metallic world of flashing lights. An invisible universe. Cyberspace is a new kind of space. It's a very lonely, very denuded, very sort of unhappy place. Why should somebody buy a computer? Why should somebody uh, enter cyberspace? Because you want to. If you don't want to, don't. I do not view cyberspace as the salvation for humanity. I view it as a battlefield. Ask for it, you're going to interact with it, you're going to face it, you're going to collide with it, you're going to coalesce with it. That's going to make the difference. Cyberspace. You can't avoid it these days. Cyberpunk, cybersex, everybody uses it and nobody actually knows what it means. It's all Greek to me. Cyber actually comes from a Greek word meaning to navigate. So cyberspace is like the oceans and the computer's like a ship. Cyberspace is the electronic space where computers and all things digital communicate. It's just behind the screens in video arcades and home computer games. It's what links the internet and lets your computer